Article 15s or captain's mass are known as non-judicial punishment. Again, they're administrative actions based on alleged criminal misconduct. Each service defines how to judge an Article 15 or a captain's mass, the burden of proof, and so on and so forth. Um, bottom line is that these actions, while administrative in nature, can cost careers. In my time as an active duty judge advocate, I got a sense that especially among the younger enlisted ranks, that an Article, you know, an Article 15 wasn't a big deal, at least for one, and sometimes was even expected for certain things. And what I'm here to tell you is, don't take that tack. Don't think it's not a big deal. I have seen people lose careers because they didn't fight in Article 15 when they had a good case to fight it. Uh, they felt like I'm just going to accept it and move on. And, and then something you know happened that they weren't counting on. And then they're the guy with the second Article 15 or the Article 15 and something else. And then you've got a drawdown situation. And, huh, we need to get rid of 85,000 troops, 200,000 troops, whatever. Well, why should I keep the guy with the Article 15 and the LOR versus the, the completely squeaky clean kid? You know, you're out of here. So it's very important to get good expert advice on what's going on with your Article 15 to prepare a thorough and accurate response to your Article 15 situation so you won't be the guy whose military career ends based upon a situation that could have been avoided with some hard work and attention to detail.